Hey, what's happening? It's Ruseko Gaming, your favorite car gamer. It's been a while since my last episode because I've been playing Spider-Man on PS4 and it has took all my free time. So now I've completed the game and I have time to do more videos to YouTube again. And we're starting with Gran Turismo Sport because it has got a new update and plenty of new cars. The new cars are Ford Mark IV race car from 1967. Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe 64, Amuse S2000, Fiat Abarth 500 and 1500, Volkswagen 1200 from 1966, which we are playing today, Mini Cooper S65 and Lancia Delta Integral. So I will present you a few cars in a few videos here in my channel, so if you're interested, stay tuned. In today's video, we're talking about Volkswagen Beetle, the original 1966 version, which is actually made for people's car in Germany. And you know what? The car's foundation is Nazi Germany's Adolf Hitler, who wanted a cheap, simple car to be a mass production for his country's new road network. The lead engineer Ferdinand Porsche and his team took until 1939 to finalize the design. The influence on Porsche design of other contemporary cars such as Tatra V570 and the work of Joseph Ganz remains a subject dispute. And the result was the first Volkswagen and one of the first rear-engined cars since the Brass era. The car has produced massive amount, 21 and a half million pieces. The Beetle is longest running and most manufactured car on a single platform ever made. So how about that? The car is assembled in Wolfsburg, of course, and in Hanover, Emden, Ingolstadt, Onansburg, and many, many other places. So this is super, super iconic vehicle. And how it's performing here in Gran Turismo? I got to say, this car is slow as a motherfucker. This is definitely not made for racing. Thank God they made the GDI version and later the DGI version, which is my car in real life. I mean, the gas edition, probably seen in my vlog episodes. Yeah, this, this car feels, it feels crazy because um, it's super slow, but if you come to the corner as fast as you can and it seems that speed is somewhere around 100 km per hour, you will instantly lose control if you're pressing the throttle. And it's not safe. And you really have to be very careful with this car, even though it doesn't have any power. It still spins. Alright, that's it for this episode. Hope you were enjoying. If you want to see a few more episodes of Gran Turismo Sports new update, stay tuned. And after that, I'm gonna present you V-Rally 4. So, stay tuned. Have a great day. Bye-bye.